More than 100 farm animals rescued from dangerous conditions are recovering tonight at Nevin's farm. Rescuers say dozens of chickens, horses, and pigs were living without access to food or water. Yeah, they're safe now, but they're going to still need a lot of help, as WBZ's Mike Sullivan shows us. That's the call of the wild, or in this case, Casey McCarthy's calling. I was one of those kids who like was always brought home stray dogs and drove my parents insane. She always knew she'd take care of animals. They're just beautiful creatures. She just couldn't foresee this many. Uh, around 150 total. Casey is the equine and farm animal outreach manager for Nevin's Farm, an MSPCA safe haven. You're a good boy. These ponies, along with dozens of other animals, were seized from a property in air. 77 year old Ruth Maxant Schultz was arraigned Monday, charged with 30 counts of animal cruelty. When officers showed up to her home, they saw some animals dead, others in deplorable conditions. Animals like these goats, some of the ones around here, medically, where are they at? What's it going to take? Yeah, so they're all in various stages. Some animals are being treated for illnesses or worms. There you go. Others just had offspring. You know, that's all I got. I think we're right around $20,000 currently, what we've put into them between just hay and feed uh, and shavings and then medical care. These two ponies are in their 20s. They're a little itchy when they start shedding. The pair are best friends who will hopefully be kept together. Adopters are really um, our biggest need because when we're able to get these animals that we currently have into great homes, then that opens up space for us to continue helping with law enforcement cases. Right now they have 30 roosters. Most of the time they are um, like okay with being held. In total, there are 91 chickens. Casey saying a drop off like this is more common than you would think. <laughs> We're going to go through and evaluate everybody individually. Um, we're hoping to make quite a few available in the next week or two. Call it a new lease on life. In Methuen, I'm Mike Sullivan, WBZ News. Mm. Fact of the matter is a lot of people become overwhelmed yeah. with a lot of animals. And so thank goodness they there are people like that. Do. If my wife saw that story, we're going to have a chicken and a goat <laughs> next week. <laughs> we'll Roaming see. through the yard. Yes. That's